Hey guys, my name is Max Mofo. Welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Final Destiny Sacred Sword is now after market. In sales, it sold 264,826 units, generating $2.9 million in sales. Um, it's been a while since we've been on Game Dev Tycoon. It seems like we're going quite good here. Um, I think straight off the bat, we should develop a new game for all the new people watching. Got to make it a medium game. What the fuck should we pick? We're going to pick topic. Um... We'll go Romance, uh, we'll make uh, the game called Twerk City, Work It Out 2. No, we should make one of those crazy Japanese, we'll call it Japanese Tentacle. Writer's Block Achievement, naming games is sometimes difficult to work. Lippery Nips, nope, that doesn't fit. Flip It In, no, that's horrible. We're gonna make like an, uh, kind of like a hentai, hentai, anime sort of-esque identical Japanese sexual porno flash game that's been imported onto a console. Cthulhu gets AIDS. No, 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 no. Octopussy Triple X. Tentacle Turmoil. No, no, no. Tentacle Tyrant. Yes! Octopussy Triple X, the Tentacle Tyrant. Okay, medium. Uh, yeah, it seems like a game for everyone. Definitely. Let's pick a genre. Casual. Yeah, just casual. Simulation. PC is good. Uh, we've, we've known that it's good. It's not good for everyone, but it is good on simulation. Uh, okay, I will go with, we'll go with PC for simulation, and we'll make it a mature game. Dialogue and... Uh, I really, I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be quite well received by the Asian market. Uh, it seems the market has normalized again with no particularly strong trends at the moment. So hopefully, maybe DJ Ravine or Marchoni is going to pick this game up, advertise it on their channel, get a few, you know, sort of a bit of extra bit of um, marketing out there. Let's see. All right, we need to split these. We need a new, new worker because we're overtiring our workers when we do this kind of shit. We need Cody. Uh, we've got Cody and Max. The, we're pushing their percentages quite high. Graphics, full, sound, medium, well designed, nothing. This is going to be a hit. Boss, I've discovered some really dedicated fans of PPL have created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game. Those fuckers. They don't make any money from it. It just seems to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisors strongly suggest that we shouldn't allow this to go on. I'm going to fucking sue every one of them. Let's see. Stop them now. Let them be. I'm a fan man. What did I say at the start of this game? I'm a fan man. Look at my little stack of cups over here. You know I'm doing business. Let's take out the bugs and we'll count down from five. Four, three, two, one. A little bit more in it. One more. Come on. Put one more point in something. Come on, you shitheads. Okay. Look, it looks like they've both got the blue screen of death. Hi, I'm Denise Reed with the main developer of the People Fan Game, blah, blah, blah. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say I'm very grateful that you didn't. Second Nipple Inc. is the best company in the world, and I'm glad I can be a part of the fan community. That's awesome. We have gained 567 fans. Let's press the little smiley face button. And let's finish the game. We've got to put out Octopussy Triple X, the Tentacle Tyrant. I hope it goes well. Let's see. Release game. Come on. Oh, new research. We can go multiplayer, better AI, and day and night cycle. That's awesome as well. We should probably um, make an actual game system thing now. An engine. The first reviews are in. Okay, come on. Come on. No! 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 You guys aren't ready for this. Japanese artwork. Waste of time. You're supposed to jack off to it. You know, you bin material. Fuck you, old games. <sighs> you really know how to bring it, guys. Hopes up. That was a waste of fucking money and time. That's going to bring us down the toilet. In two months, the super test will be taken off the market. Okay, fuck every one of you guys. I'm so depressed right now. All right, that's it. Let's do some research. Um, do we have enough points? We need to d develop some ideas so we can make an engine with all of it. Alright, let's get some multiplayer in here. And you, Cody fucking Jensen, you can research character progression. That's good as well. Alright, fellas. Hook me up. That's all my research points gone. Octopussy is doing shit on the market. Um, we're losing fans constantly after releasing it, like any company would. Alright, let's train up Cody. Let's see. Um, what's his research? 301. We need to put more design for him. He's the design master. Uh, we'll, we'll hook him up with this. Wait, fuck, we can't, we can't do anything. Alright, damn it, we need to make some new game or something. Generate game reports. Alright, you can do that. Uh, you generate game report as well. Boss, our office could really do with some renovation work, and our computer systems are also out of date. Okay, let's go 150k. Hook me up, Cody. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, we're looking good. That's sexy. Coffee machine over there. Still kept your collection of cups. 
Not bad, I don't mind that. G3 training. Dig Saggy Nipple Inc. Since G3 has become one of the biggest meetups of game developers every year, we have decided to use our name for the greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year where game devs around the world can compete with each other. That sounds cool. This will be a great way for game developers to learn something new. You are welcome to join in at any time. There are no prizes, but it should be a great way to increase everyone's skills. Sounds like a fucking scam. The Vena has announced their next generation console, the DreamVast. Okay, a company spokesperson said the DreamVast is a dream come true. This console is the most advanced game console in history. Yeah, it did really well. Alright guys, you know what? I know we probably can't afford it and we'll go down the toilet, but let's fill a position. I'm gonna set the budget for 200, uh, okay, 200 and, okay, 300 grand. And we'll go complex algorithms and we'll start, we're gonna find a new guy to work for us. Hopefully a black guy, bring a bit of sass into the workplace. We'll have two black guys and a white guy, hopefully he'll feel a little uncomfortable. Let's go Doris Powell, hmm, level one sucks, level two, okay, level two. Let's see these two guys and they both suck. Okay, let's see. This guy's technology is huge. Uh, I think we're gonna make him the technology expert. Okay, he's ugly as hell. Let's. I'm sorry. That's really not nice to say. Dear esteemed sir slash madame, I'm financial advisor at CEO of One Moba Oil Limited in Nigeria. I'm writing because I fuck off. This is a scam. Fuck yourself. Get fucked. We're losing money rapidly. We're training people. We're trying. We should. We're gonna hold out because we're on 2.2 mil. We're going down the toilet quite terribly. If we can pull this one off, it pays 61 grand. Probably not really worth it, but we get a lot of research points. We've got three people working on it. Uh, we, we've got a we've got, we've got a tech specialist and a design specialist, and I am just good at both. I believe so. We probably should be able to pull this off quite simply. We're almost done already. We did it in half the time needed, so that's a free 60 grand. We all get lots of research points. Everything goes according to plan. Now we will use him as a guinea pig to see Code Jam, since that was a, as much research points as we had left. And then after that, I think we should develop a new game. All right, fuckers, we're making a game. No, we're gonna make a sequel. What should we make a sequel to? We'll make a sequel to People. PPL. That was. Oh god, that was the. Is that like the the Sims? I can't remember, I think that was a Sims game, because we've got to make, yeah, okay, life simulation, good, good, it's the Sims one. PPL 2, return of the PPL. Black people, diversity DLC, racial acceptance DLC, that sounds good. Let's go pick a platform. Simulation, chuck it on the PC, brilliant. 2D graphic, blah, 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 start development, this is going to be a hit. Come on, oh god, oh my god, yes, yes. <gasps> fuck yes, fuck yes, a 10, oh my god, give me another 10. Yes! Oh my god, a masterpiece, a masterpiece! Oh my god, guys, no, 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 no. No, 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 yes. Yes, fuck you. Fu <gasps> fuckers. You fuckers. Are you racist? You racist piece of shit, all games. Great sequel. Fuck yourself. You gave me a nine. I could have had four perfect tens. That would have sold a billion bloody dollars. Damn it, that really sucks. I know that's like white people problems. It's like, oh, I work for a game company. We got three tens and one thing gave us a nine. Let's all fucking die. Uh, it's a first world problem, but come on, I could have got through four tens. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see what it sells. Units, oh my god, it's selling. It's rank one at the moment. I wish G3 was on right now. I could put out so much advertising for it. Se Seggy Nipple Inc. has recently released a sequel to the game People. The newest game in the series is titled Black People. Racial Acceptance DLC. It was met with an outstanding, oh, with outstanding responses. So, it's going well. It's going to go really well. Multi-genre. Um, damn. That's going to be awesome. We've got to send this guy on vacation. His bar's getting quite low. We'll make me uh, hit up the old uh, generated game report for black people. Get some research points going. Look at the sales. Look at the sales. Got word the Black People Racial Acceptance DLC was released and only released by Sega Nibble Inc. has ranked over 500k in sales. If the game were a music record, it would just have gone gold status, son. Go Sega Nibble Inc. Well done. We're fucking... Look at this shit. A post-release analysis of uh, Black People. This is well designed. Okay, we already know all that stuff. That's all good. Um, Jonah Lucas is still new to the team. A few more games and the team will have higher potential. Okay, understood. Understood. That game is going... Oh my god, that game is making 
So much money, holy shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, boss. A friend of mine is greatly involved in an organization which aims to get more women into technology. They're looking for a sponsor, and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for us. Sponsor, pay 40k. Okay. Yeah, you can, uh, 40k is nothing for us. All right. Black people, racial acceptance DLC is now off the market. It sold 741,000 units, generating 5 point. One nine million dollars in sales. If that does not give you a stiffy, you should close this video right now. Let's go train on me. Uh, I'm looking for research, so we'll just do innovation challenge. Get that going. Oh, okay, what's going on? Vony has announced the much anticipated successor to their popular play system console, the Play System 2. Micronoft has announced the delay of their new gaming system, Mbox. Nice. We'll make uh, a fantasy game. Call it Bookworm. No. Okay. <laughs> Call it Musky Buttholes. Musky Buttholes, the golden trinket. It's like a magical trinket you got to find inside a musky butthole. We'll go... This is so dumb. I'm so immature. Oh, my God. All right. Let's go. What do we... Got? What should we do for simulation, though? The, the play system is very good right now. I'm going to do a simulation. Okay. We'll go play system. Uh, $350,000 to use it. Oh, okay. Thanks, Vony. You're real fucking nice. Hopefully, this sells quite well. Um, we'll go with that. I think we, we are quite adept in developing uh, fantasy RPGs as well. Musky Buttholes, the Golden Trinket. Gameplay quite high. Engine whoo, kind of low. Story and quest should be very high for this kind of game. And... Oh, oh, okay. Game Convention G3. We've got everyone going to G3 to check out Musky Buttholes, so this better be a good game. We need to make this a successful game because we've got a small booth at G3, which uh, it will hype it up a little bit or bring a bit of hype to the table. See, we've got hype going on now. So let's hope this helps out. Oh, God, they want an interview on the game. This better be a fucking good game. Um, let's hype the game. Be modest. Or okay, hype the fucking game. Let's hype the hell out of the game. This is going to be a brilliant game. We've got Jonah here working on it. We've got a new member of the, the team. Role-playing games generally have a lot of dialogue, I think. Artificial intelligence. Oh, I so don't know. I seriously have no fucking clue. Oh, we'll just go with that. Nah, this is going to be a flop. We're hyping a fucking shit game. We are hyping a flopped game. At least once you release a shitty game, you can uh, generate a game report and get hints and clues, which will put little pluses and minuses at the bottom like this right here, so you know what you need next time. So graphics, uh, it's only a 2 plus, guaranteed 2 plus, so it should be around there somewhere. Sound, I don't know. World design up, full sound there. Oh, this is so fucked. We are so done. We're out of the industry. We're fucking done. We've still got $5 million. We can definitely handle releasing a flopped game, but look how much hype we have generated. 145 hype. We are so fucking done here. Alright, here we go. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, a nine! A nine! We hyped a good game! We hyped a good game! 98, 98, Windows 98, 98, 9. Oh my god, we hyped a good game. We... Fuck you. All games is a piece of shit. Every single time they give a crap review. Damn. That's definitely a successful game and we hyped it well. I wish it was my last game that we hyped because that did so much better, but still we hyped a good game. We're doing well here. Exclusive interview a while ago, Maxi from Sega Nipple Inc. made a very bold remarks about their then in development game Musky Buttholes, the Golden Trinket, predicting that it will be an uber successful. Now the game is on the market. Consensus is that Maxi was spot on as the game has received very positive reviews. This had said that it gave a positive effect on the game and sales. So fuck yes, we're on $7.8 million. I've got a lot of research points. Uh, I'll write the inboxes out. Let's get Lucas over here to generate a game report. And we'll train up Cody. We'll give him even more design. And we will train up me. Hook me up with even more research. Uh, anyway, guys, my name is Max Mofo. This is Game Dev Tycoon. If you do enjoy the video, if you did enjoy the video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe. Uh, we will be back. We are getting back to this and also Scribblenauts. Also leave suggestions below for games you think you would like to see me play. Hoping to put out two videos a day on this channel. I'll see you guys very shortly. I love you. Please love me. I love you, but uh, I'm going to give you half a fin sword out of ten. My name is Max Mofo. I'll see you guys shortly. Lots of videos to come. This is Adventure Time. Something about a dungeon.